Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2019 from Budapest, Hungary, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dain Ahmad, who is the CEO of a company called Chameleon from Mozambique. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what, what you do, and uh, I do believe you developed uh, a, a new product uh, that you've been talking to people about here. Yes, I, I, I developed a new, uh, an infrastructure which is patented in the UK. The infrastructure is basically to attend rural communities with digital uh, education programs. The uh, reason why I did, uh, I did uh, provide these services to the communities is because in these days everybody is linked to the digital. Even, even us, uh, if we want to know something, we don't even read the big books anymore. We go, we use uh, digital tutorials, we go to YouTube, in one or two minutes we can learn anything that we want. So uh, my thought was, why not do the same uh, considering the, the, the conditions of the rural communities which are very poor. So we developed the product, it's called the Tablet Communitario. In English, you can translate it as a community tablet. The idea is we go to the communities, uh, we provide videos, education videos. People can see the video. Our infrastructure is linked also to the to speakers. The videos they see on a very large screen is about 100 in inch. Uh, by seeing the video, they can keep quickly understand what we are trying to, to provide them. We also uh, facilitate video conferencing so people can eventually communicate if they have any questions. And on the other side, we provide gamification, where people are submitted to virtual games on that specific topic. So we have a feedback if the, the, the people are understanding or not that specific topic. Recently, uh, uh, we've been doing as well uh, health programs in Mozambique for the past two years. We've been involved in uh, cholera programs, uh, some, some, some uh, provinces had problems with cholera, with HIV, with, with family planning. And we realized that by showing the videos to the people, uh, they change the behavior. And we also uh, take the chance to do the digital inclusion because the, most of these people don't have access to the new ICT devices. So yes. apart from videos themselves, essentially, we're, we're looking at literacy, is that right? We're, we're yes. talking about messaging, we're talking about civic education. Perhaps you could, I mean, how are you managing this content? How are you uh, evolving with this? Okay, uh, we are, uh, we, I'm talking about the civic education. Uh, we provide contents. We have a partnership with uh, the biggest university in Mozambique. Because when you provide the content, we, we have to take in consideration where are we going to present. Because, because of different uh, religions, cultures, and habits, we cannot just provide any content. So we provide, we prepare the content with the, with the university uh, related to the health, for example, health topics. And we prefer to use cartoon animations because we can put the characters according to their lifestyle. So they can identify themselves there. And, uh, uh, recently, we have uh, incorporated a vaccine freezer on our trailer. So the big idea here is, uh, in these days, it's very difficult to tell people what to do. You, it's difficult for you to go to a community and say, do this. But with our platform, we can have uh, the live screen. We provide the video regarding the vaccine uh, campaigns. People can see. People, then people can ask questions because we have a virtual attendant as well. And when people are convinced, which most of the time they are, there's a vaccine freezer, we are usually go there with a doctor in cooperation with the Minister of, of Health. People get the vaccine. And on the other side of, of, of the infrastructure, uh, actually we can provide a registration. We can, uh, the, the user can be in front, take a picture, put fingerprints, and we can provide the PVC card. So he, he's actually registered, and we also avoid double vaccination because you already have a vaccination card. And we also uh, can in incorporate uh, blood freezers because in these days, very few people donate blood. 
and blood is becoming scarce around the world. So we have a dream to increase the blood bank around the world so the people in rural communities can have the facilities also to know why to donate blood, how to donate blood, and on the spot we can collect blood, put on the appropriate freezer, register the people as well, and uh, well, but before that we can have also have the facility to test the people if the, the, the blood is okay to be taken or not, type of blood. So we actually offer this type of facilities uh, directly to rural communities. And what about funding? Obviously you're taking the, the, this technology, you're, you're connecting people who are unconnected. What about funding? How are you supporting this endeavor? Well, I do work in uh, partnership with uh, non-governmental organizations and with governments. So basically what happens here is like uh, on a specific programs, they hire me to do. So they tell me go to these places and stay one month. I give them the, the fee and I go and the end user does not pay anything. But the, the government or the NGOs, they, they, they fund me to go to the places and to help them with this type of Solutions. And uh, you're, you're here uh, on the uh, Mozambique uh, stand here, is that right? You're, you're uh, having conversations with people here at ITU Telecom World? Yes, I, I'm from Mozambique. Uh, I'm here, uh, of course, representing a, a Mozambican product, but I have my own stand. Okay. Yes, I have my own stand. And uh, I've been having a lot of, uh, of uh, opportunities to talk to people in this field of telecommunications, uh, health and it, it, it's been good so far and I'm happy. Great, okay, yes. well, uh, well yes. I'm, we're very pleased to have had you in the studio and it's been a, a fascinating insight into uh, the work that you do on a daily basis and, uh, and the, the products that uh, you've been developing. Well, we, we very much look forward to, to catching up with you again at some stage in the near future and we wish you the very best of luck with, uh, with all, you so all your endeavours. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.